So this is my mid-month or every two week uh, thrift haul video. Um, just a day late. I wanted to try to get it out on the 15th, kind of smack dab in the middle of the month, but the 16th it's going to be. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through, I have it in front of me here, I'm going to go through my little pile of stuff and show you what all I got in the past two weeks. Um, I will put an affiliate link in here for some gold and diamond testers. I'll do both the acid and the more expensive electronic ones. So if you decide you need something like that to test the stuff that you're getting, please follow that affiliate link because it helps me do these videos. And I'll do one for my loop. I wish I had my loop really close, but I don't see it. I would pull it out, I call it my eyeball. It's like a little magnifier and you put it up to your eye and it really helps you find <clears throat> all the tiny little marks that are really hard to see and that make it possible for me to find stuff because if I have a really hard time seeing it, they probably had a hard time seeing it in the store that I went into also. So let's get started. Okay, here is an overview of my stuff. You can see all the pieces and as usual, I will um, sit there at the chair and I'm gonna go through each individual piece with you. Um, I will probably try to zoom in a little bit. Come around. <clears throat> all right, let me see what I can see here. I am gonna zoom in so you get a little um, closer of view. And I will try to get it so you can see the marks. Um, I'm having a hard time seeing what's up there, but that's okay. So, this was like the best score of the week, I think. One of the stores I go into all the time, they have, um, the girl does a pretty, the woman does a pretty good job of making sure that she knows what she's got. Um, but these are actually uh, Tiffany earrings. They're the peace sign earrings done by Elsa Pretty. Um, again, I'm not, I hate to zoom in and out because it really messes everything up. But right down at the bottom, it says Elsa Peretti 925. Tiffany, I don't think it's all in that order, um, but they're real clearly marked Tiffany. I actually had a necklace and pendant um, that were done in the same way, um, and I've looked them up, of course, to make sure that they are actually, in fact, what I thought they were. Uh, quite a few pairs of earrings. I just got these. I thought they were so pretty. They are like little amethyst balls at the end of sterling silver. Uh, the mark, and one of those things, like, it's a one way to kind of know that there's going to be a mark um, on the uh, the thing you put in your ear, uh, the hook there. If you see that at the kind of top here, it's flattened. Um, oftentimes, it is flattened because there's a little mark there, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you can see it, but right there, there is a 925 mark. But that, where it would normally be kind of circular or rounder, it's been flattened out, and that is where the mark has been stamped in. It's um, flattened out because that's where the mark is, but they're just so pretty. They're long and pretty. They've got those pretty purple stones there. Just thought those were gorgeous. <clears throat> Um, I got a couple pairs of gold earrings. Um, I didn't get a ton of gold this week. Um, I got a little bit though. I, these I just knew when I walked in that they were gold. Um, that tricolor gold where you see like the rose, white, um, and yellow gold, it's usually a good indication that it's gold for some reason. Um, sometimes it's gold filled, but oftentimes when I found it, it's been gold. Um, I didn't even really need to look at them. I just thought they were so pretty. They weren't very expensive. Um, they're marked both on the stem and then the back, the um, the thing that goes for your ear. Gosh, why can't I think of what that's called? Anyway, so sadly I lost one of them in my house. I can't find it, um, but one of the one of the earring backs is still there, super pretty. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to buy like a bag of replacement backs. Um, these are also gold. These happen to be white gold, um, silver toned. They're kind of done like those Whiting Davis bags where it's like a metal, it's like a weaved metal mesh. You can see them, they are real pretty. And the mark on those guys was on the back. 
So where you put the hook in your ear and you close that little flappy guy, right there I could see there was some writing and sure enough they were marked 14 karat gold. You know, 14 karat gold a lot of times just looks like really shiny silver. So sometimes if you can't see the mark, it's really difficult to find out, to figure out if you're looking at silver or gold. Um, but fortunately those happen to be gold. And I thought they were going to be, I think I could see a little K on there, which, um, which really helped me out. So I also got um, these earrings. Uh, they're Avon, they were really inexpensive. I think I picked them up for like a buck. But they're Avon brand and they are signed, let me see if I can see, CS for Avon. Sorry, my dog's clickety clacking behind you. I think you can probably hear him walking around. CS for Avon, I'm not sure what that means. They're actually sterling silver and usually Avon stuff is gold filled or just costumes. So I was kind of intrigued by the fact that they were silver. So I figured I'd do a little, if they were cheap enough, I figured I'd do a little research on those and figure them out. And the last pair of earrings I have are Native American. They are clip-ons. I am assuming they're Navajo, that's sort of a typical Navajo design. And I really have a thing for turquoise. Um, and they are turquoise, they're so pretty. Just love the Native American stuff. I think these are marked. I would have bought them whether they were or not. It wouldn't have really mattered to me. But yeah, they're marked underneath. Like if you open the flap um, underneath there, it says TC Sterling. So I'll just need to do a little research to find out who the maker is on those. Super pretty. All right, that is it for the earrings. Like, oh no, one more pair. These I just thought were lovely. They're hand done. You can tell they're hand done. Uh, again, the mark uh, was on that sort of flattened portion. It happened to be farther back on this one, closer to the bottom, the flattened portion of that hook. Um, but they're just so pretty. Nice little funky teardroppy hoops. I got some I got done if you watched my video last week. I got some really pretty teardrop hoops last week as well. So. It was a continuation. I got this ring. Um, the marcasite on the outside is what drew me to it. You know, if you've watched my videos, I always say marcasite is a good indicator that something is sterling silver, and that is, I just love that green stone. I doubt it's anything, um, you know, really good. It's probably just glass, but it's so pretty. That ring is just so gorgeous. It's so retro. You know, it's got a really, oh, ooh. I just lost a necklace there. But you can see from the back, it's got a real vintage sort of um, retro look to it. It is vintage, it's a vintage piece, so pretty. That was the only ring I got this week, which is unusual. I usually find quite a lot of rings. Um, I've got a few necklaces. This guy is gold, just kind of a thin um, gold necklace, 10 karat gold. Uh, I paid it wasn't super duper cheap, but it wasn't super duper expensive. I think I paid under $20 for it. Um, gold, as I've said before, is not as high as it usually is. So it's not necessarily a great time to be buying, oh, or it is a great time to be got buying gold because you can sell it as jewelry and not as gold. Uh, this necklace here, uh, it's sterling silver and it's marked kind of all over the place here. I was hoping that pendant I don't know if you can see that pendant with that little, what looks like a piece of jade in there. I was hoping that was gonna be 14 karat gold or, or gold of some sort, but it actually isn't marked at all. So I'd imagine it must be costume and they just put that on that necklace there. Um, again, if you've watched my videos, you know I always say to look at the pendants and the necklaces separately because sometimes the pendant is good and the necklace is not or vice versa. So it's always worth checking out kind of a junky looking thing even um, if you think it might be junk because the pendant might not be and vice versa. This necklace, it's kind of long. I, you get kind of an idea. It just keeps going and going and going. It's contemporary um, and it's costume. It is done by Gerard Tosca, who I had not heard of, but I thought it was pretty and really nicely designed. Um, and his stuff goes pretty well uh, for costume jewelry. So I just went ahead and bought that one. Um, I love these sort of hard chokery things. I really have a thing for them. I find quite a lot of them. This one's actually marked sterling silver on the back and it's got a gold wash on it. I don't know if you can see that it's got the gold wash on it. The mark was really obvious, but 
but the gold wash on the back doesn't look great. The mark is right here on there. Hopefully you can see it. So I think maybe they priced it really cheap because the gold wash kind of looks like it's coming off in the back, but it doesn't affect the front at all. The front still looks really pretty. Um, it's got a little bit of tarnish, but um, my um, sterling glove should take all that right off and, and it shouldn't be a problem. Um, I got some bracelets. So I got this one. I've never seen like a flexible sterling silver bracelet. I was really surprised it was sterling, but there's a little, um, it's like a round thing. It's like a little circle and it says uh, the maker and sterling silver. Um, oh, there we go. You should be able to see it right there, but I just thought that was so pretty. That's a lot of sterling silver. I was, I was kind of surprised I was sitting there. I got this guy. It's um, it's Ralph Lauren, so it's definitely costume. It's going to be uh, um, sterling silver plated, but I really loved it. Like I like that th this guy is gold, and the rest of it's silver tone. I just thought it was so cute. Um, I got this. I am assuming that it's sterling silver, but it's not marked, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's got the ohm symbol on it. Uh, it looks really Indian. It looks a tad vintage. I just really liked, I like a cuff. I just really liked that one. I thought it was super cool. Um, I got this uh, watch. It's by a brand called Kirk's Folly. And Kirk's Folly was in business um, for I think about 30 years and they've recently gone out of business. Their stuff kind of has a little bit of a cult following. People love it. And I've had a few pieces of Kirk's Folly and, and it sold really well. I don't know if you can see it, but this little heart, it's just so cute, right? It's like these antique tarts. This little heart has a dove or a bird with uh, something in its mouth. And this one's a little bumblebee. I just, it's so cute. I just love the detail on that one. I just, I bought a lot of things just because I liked them this time around, which there's nothing wrong with doing. Like, you know, oftentimes if you like it, somebody else is gonna like it too, so you might as well take a chance. Um, and I got this bracelet. It's a charm bracelet. It's got all these little different kinds of flowers. Some of them are sort of flat. Some of them are three-dimensional looking. Uh, that one's sterling silver. And on this one, uh, the mark, <laughs> I looked at it for a while and I was like, huh, that looks like sterling. I looked at all the little pendanty charm things, nothing was marked, and I could barely, I really took a chance on this one. I, on the little toggle, right there, that tiny little toggly piece, uh, it looked like something was written on it, and I was like, that has to say 925, but I couldn't really tell, and sometimes it looks like stuff's written on stuff, and it's not really, it's just some funk. So I took a real chance on that one. Okay, and um, last but not least, I got this really nice looking Kate Spade wallet. Um, I always try to pick up vintage Kate Spade stuff. It sells really well for me. Um, I got that guy, not super expensive. It's in really good condition. All right, that's, uh, oh no, one more thing, one more thing. So. This guy I actually bought, um, and it's where I say sometimes you should look at everything. So this is just kind of a costume necklace, right? I wouldn't have even normally looked at it, but I was standing there chatting with the girl at the counter, and she was like, please just pretend like I'm showing you something because I don't want to go back to the cash register. So I was like, okay, show me that necklace there. Costume, you can tell it's costume, but it's done. Um, I pulled it out, it had a little tag on it, and it says Catherine Papesca, France. And it turns out it's like some really kind of high-priced contemporary piece. And I never would have looked at it if the girl hadn't sort of insisted I not make her go back to the, um, to the cash register, and I ended up getting a really nice piece. So sometimes, I mean, I know I just said like, a lot of times I buy stuff I really like or I buy stuff because I think it's gonna be something or I look at something because I think it's gonna be something and sometimes it's worth sort of taking a look at everything at the counter or a lot of things at the counter 
um, whether or not you think it's gonna be something good because it may be something that you just don't even, you've never even heard of or you don't even know anything about and it ends up being a really good, um, a really good piece of jewelry. So that was kind of a bit of a stroke of luck one. All right, that's all the stuff. All right, thanks for checking me out again. Um, like I said, I'm gonna post those affiliate links in the description, so if you need any of that stuff, please make sure you click through the link. And I'm gonna have a couple, uh, I'm gonna have a subscribe button, I'm gonna have a link for some other videos, so hit the subscribe button, and then hit the link for the other videos, and check me out. Make sure if you liked the video to leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and I appreciate you checking me out. If you have any questions, also put that in that, um, the comments, the comment section down at the bottom there. Thanks.